Well, for those of us who have pets, it's pretty safe to say they are an important part of the family. And like the rest of us, every now and again, they need a little sprucing up. But when Rex, Fido, or Fifi need their hair done or their nails clipped, where's the best place to take them? Chris Schaefer takes us to Laundro Mutt in Monticello. Life-changing events can come at any time and any place. And for Monticello business owner Sam Watzluff, her epiphany came to her about four years ago at a time when the single mom probably needed it the most. I was a dog groomer for a corporate store. There was a day that I was in there and it just wasn't a great day. It wasn't going well. And I left that day and I went to dinner. Two guys that came up to me that owned a building in Monticello that was for lease. Insert epiphany here. And they said, have you ever considered starting your own business? And I said no. But knowing full well that epiphanies are rare, Sam knew this moment should warrant careful consideration. Later that night, I decided that sounds like a great idea. And I think I'm going to do that. And the next day, I signed a lease. And that is actually what happened. Now, your average business analyst would have a heyday knocking holes in Sam's somewhat hasty business plan. But the hometown girl's lack of planning was more than eclipsed by the help she received from friends and family. I had a, a little bit of money in savings, so I bought some kennels and some blow dryers and started laundromat. That's right. Laundromat. Good morning, Laundromat. You have to admit, the name is catchy, albeit a bit derogatory towards some. The dogs we interviewed didn't seem bothered by the name at all. It definitely describes us. I mean, look at my dog. We're, we're Laundromat. We are just sort of happy go lucky, go with the flow people. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. We'll see you soon. In fact, Laundromat is everything that Sam's big box clipping job wasn't. I like to know people's stories. I like to get to know the dogs. I like to know just why they are the way they are. And her crew follows suit, each adding their own touch in helping maintain Laundromat's fun and unique atmosphere. Lindsay's really loud. When I'm on vacation, I get text messages saying they miss my loud mouth. <laughs> Vanessa, there's the artist. She does her signs. Justin is the bather extraordinaire. <laughs> I love that they're so approachable and friendly, um, prices are great, and also they just know what I like. Once I got here and uh, found out the kind of work that they did, we were sold. A really cute one. I think patience is key. Mm -hmm. You have to be patient. You have to be very, very incredibly patient. That includes her dog, Annie. Yep, I think that was the color that she asked for. Okay, time to go home. And for this young woman to make her mark in her own hometown. Monticello is a good town. Everyone's so nice. Is a big part of what makes Laundromat the best in Minnesota. Cute. Yeah, those pets are cute. Love the name. Love the clientele. Yeah. How can yeah. you not? Uh, might be some fresh.